How do you get lead poisoning? There are two basic ways. One is by eating paint chips, and the other by ingesting lead dust. The first, eating paint chips, is known as PICA, the tendency to chew on things. Paint chips are sweet, and children will chew on them for that reason. The paint chips might come from the ceiling, the wall, the floor, the windowsill, or the radiator. The windowsill is an area that often produces paint chips, because when the window comes down and smacks into the windowsill, it loosens the paint into paint chips. In the case of radiators, the heat causes the paint to crack and chip, and to form paint chips. In New York, lead paint has been banned since 1978, and in some cases nationally, even before that, back to 1960. You cannot buy lead paint anymore, but what a building owner or landlord will do is to paint over the walls and ceiling after a tenant has moved out and before a new tenant comes in. So you might have 13 or 15 layers of paint on the wall, and although you cannot buy lead paint anymore, layer 13 may have been lead paint, and when the child chews the paint chip, he or she is chewing on all 15 layers of paint, including the lead paint. The other way you might get lead poisoning is from lead dust, which is in the air, and you wouldn't see it, and you wouldn't even know you were inhaling it. So either chewing lead paint chips or inhaling lead dust can produce lead poisoning.